Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia. Today I've decided <laughs> I want to make myself a little needle book. A little needle book like this one. Because I've got too many <laughs> I've got too many needles and I'm gonna put the ones like the the, the ones that I use most into it, you know. I won't make it any bigger than that, I don't think. Maybe I will. This has got needles all in it. This has got needles all in it. I don't really go to this one that much because I just... Look at the size of these. What am I going to do? These are doll needles, okay? And they're huge. But if I ever need to do anything like that, well, I suppose I've got them there if I need to stitch through a doll. But I've got so many packets of different things in here and I really want to put them in some sort of an organisation thing, you know? <laughs> That's very small, that bead needle, so I won't be wanting to hit me in there, will I? But because I've got so many that I've been buying, and um, I've got a whole heap in here because I took them out of all the vials that they were in and just put them all in together, so I need to sort that. So I need to make myself something that I can carry about a bit easier than this. These are bead needles for if you want to do, if you're beading like a bracelet or something, you know, so you need to have long a long one, okay? Um, I think these are just um, cross, uh, cross stitch ones, you know, lots of tapestry ones. Here I've got all these, which I, I mean, I just want to pick out the ones that I'm going to use, okay? And put it in, and that'll be mostly these and some bead needles, is what I usually use. Um, there's a good size in them. I don't know, I use, what have I got in here? I didn't realise I still had this one. It's stuck in there, it doesn't want to come out. Are they bead needles? Come here, you. Or maybe those are the ones that open down the middle. I think they're the ones that open down the centre. Here they are too. They're the ones that I'm not a big fan of. I think that's what they are. I can't even see them properly. I'm right up in... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry about this. Now, that must be what these are. Can't, can't get it. Yeah, see, you make... There's a hole in the middle. Actually, they're not a bad size, those, are they? I've got more of those in here. Um, I don't really like to use them because they've got sharp on each, they're sharp on each end. See, they open like that, and you put your put your cotton through there, and they're sharp on each end. And I don't really like to use them. So, um, but these this is only a short one. I still probably would still stick it in myself anyway. So, I'm gonna put this in here now. I did buy myself some more of those little vial things so I can... Well, this won't even go in here. Look, how, how, how ungood is... <laughs> ungood. How bad is that? It won't even go in there. I bought myself some more of these little vials because I was... I thought I was going to put... Actually, I did buy me yes, because I was going to put my needles in them and then I thought, too much, too much everywhere. You know, you need to, to put them into a smaller space. <laughs> I'm thinking about a smaller space. I am. So I'm thinking about the smaller space so what I'll do with these I don't know maybe I could store some beads in them but then that's going to be spread out everywhere too so I'll have vials <laughs> I'll have some vials in for maybe one day you never know what you might use one day you know you just never know because I've got into so much stuff that I have once used now I've got a bit of stuff here cut out because I was planning on doing this a while back and never got round to it that does happen. I've been in here this morning for, for uh, three hours, I think, already, sorting out some of my stuff. <laughs> going through beads again, going through ribbon. I've put some little jars up there with different sorts of trims in it because now I can see it. I was watching Timu, somebody's Timu haul last night, and I seen this lady had... Sorry about that. She bought these bags. And they were good size, probably 15 inches by 12 or something, reasonably, you know, clear. 
and you know they had side bits on them too, but you know so they're sort of rectangleish. And she said they were a dollar something. So last night I'm in bed thinking, oh, gee, I could get some of those, put all my fabric in them, put them up in the shelf. I could see it. They wouldn't be stuffed away. <laughs> Um, all them boxes, boxes take up too much room because they're too rigid. And I come out here and I look for them. There was no way there was any of them there. That price, they were all five, eight, twelve dollars each. <laughs> there went me dream out the door. But anyway, so I've got this little bit here that I've started. But I think I should. I want to put. I want to put some of these bits on here. I want to do something different. I want to put some of these bits on because I really like these bits. I bought them from Vin. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I bought them from Vinnie's. Because I wanted to, let me, let me see, what size book, how about that, is that too big? Uh -huh. Maybe, I'll use that for something else I think. Um, I need a cover bit, a bit for a cover. That might be this piece, might have been meant to be a cover, or that bit there, oh, hang on, here's a bit for a cover. Right, now we're going to adjust this to the size of the stuff that we have, aren't we? So I've got these little bits that I can use for pages because it doesn't matter if they're not exactly, does it? I don't have to use the colour ones if I don't want to. I can use whatever I like, can't I? <laughs> right, now. So I'm going to cut this out so it fits. I'll make it fit. Do I want the padding in there? Why? I don't remember that. I don't know the reasoning for that. I do want pages, definitely. So let's take this up to there. Yeah, not exactly, but that'll be nice. Um, cut that. Can I, what about if I put... If I could use this for, for something to stick pins through or not? I hate it when things don't work properly, you know, when you put something in it. Not bad. This is an iron-on bit of stuff, this is. That I've got here. Like a pellon or something, and it's pretty thick. I could probably take that bit off. That's away. There we go. Now I'm happy. <laughs> now I'm a happy chook. Except there's a bit there that's not. It doesn't matter. It won't, won't hurt it. It'll be sewn up. Won't it? And then I'm going to pat it without it being hard to push your needle through. And, well, that's blunt. So we don't want that. I was sitting here a while ago sewing on something, and the needle was just taking forever it just was not going through what I was sewing it was just not working for me this is a tiny bit skew whiff now look at me go bit skew whiff but we'll figure it out as we go along okay we'll make it nice you don't have to have it absolutely absolutely do you it can be a little bit bit wonky if you like it's a slow stitch piece so it's all good fun there's no rules, no rules in anything really, it's only you make them yourself. We make our own rules, don't we? I'm just trimming that to till I got none left. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Right, needle book. Okay. That bit there we want to join up. I don't want to glue that on there, I'm not going to, I'm gonna stitch on this so I want to glue that. Now I'm gonna put these bits on here, I hope. This can be the front. I do love that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it can come over the edge. That's okay. We're good with that. There's another. There's a lady on there. Oh, gee, that's nice, isn't it? I'm going to cut that off that bit. So I can just join her on. Oh, look at this. <laughs> And have these little flowers. They look nice. I like them. And I have a big piece here. It's a basket. I suppose I could put that on the back. Or this bit. On the part lay on the back. I'll cut that back a bit. So these are come off hankies and stuff like that. Uh, Looks like that had something behind it, but it's not it's just a lot thicker than what I was using a minute ago, that's all. Here's another one of these ladies. Oh, you're going to have to excuse me, I'm going to say sorry. 
<coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> mm. Oh, dear. I did say I was going to start working on some journal stuff, but I changed my mind again. I tried to do a bit of something on it, and it just didn't work for me. I'm not... not coping at all much with things it's <laughs> like I'm just having a, a bit of time we've we, we got to we got to stitch this down there that'll be nice okay and that one can go on the back but then I don't feel I want that lady on the back as well you reckon she look nice that one yeah and where's that other little bit oh there it is there so let's put that on there What do you reckon? This looks pretty good, doesn't it? What about this bit here? There's a bit of a hole. I don't need a hole. And there's one there too. Let's just stitch this on first though and have a bit of fun with this before we go any further. Now I'm going to use one of my Chanel needles because they are sharp. And that's the idea, you see. They're sharp and they've got a good eye. And you can put it back together. And glue on me. This is the bit, this is a tricky bit, getting the needle out of the box. Come on. Yeah, that's sharp. If you, you can feel it, it's, it's good. And it doesn't matter what sort of, um, you can use any sort of good thread in this too. That's another thing you can do. Use all the good threads in this, which I have got a lot tucked away up here that I have to put on and put away still because I've been... Like I said this morning, getting through things, <laughs> working my way through stuff. And it's something that's probably pink, because I, I do like the variegated one here, though. I do like, like this bit short. <laughs> Look at this one. I have to wind him onto something. I got him the other day for 50 cents somewhere, this one. Where's the end? That's the part that gives me the really trying to find the end. I do a long time take, I do a lot, a lot of the time take the outside bit off, just in case it's fluffy. I don't know. I do that and then throw that bit out. I don't want it to be wrong on me, on me work, do I? You see? I do like how that looks. I think that's awesome. And this should go through here just good, I hope, through everything. I'm going to put some pins in this, you reckon? I don't know if I'm keen on that bit. I might leave that for a minute and see if I can find something else. I'll just start here. This bit. It doesn't matter if that piece comes over the edge, doesn't it? Now that just goes through there like you're sewing through butter, these needles. Now these are Chanel. And they're size 18 to 24, okay, and there's six in there. Um, a friend of mine, Stephanie, got them for me from Spotlight here in Australia. Um, so, you know, but a Chanel needle is awesome to use, especially when you're doing, if you're using a lot of this, um, fab, uh, these threads that we use, the thicker ones, because then they make a nice big hole for it to go through. Uh, do I need to put something here? A oh, little flower. Actually, I thought I left out some butterflies and things too. I must have put them back in the box. Look at that little flower. Maybe I'll get something, put something on there after. Just stitch around here, Sonia. Just slowly now, slow stitching. No rules. You're just supposed to enjoy doing this bit, aren't you? Because it's such fun. Whoever did that did some dear little stitches on that. That's a nice little piece. There it is. I just want to go around the front of this one. I'll go around the, uh, the whole outside first, eh? I'll go around the outside first. There's always a pin to get caught on. I do love to recycle things. So this piece here is a bit off a tray cloth or something. Um, doily, whatever. 
and then they've got these bits of hankies. I think you should probably charge about a dollar for each packet, but they had a few in each packet. It doesn't matter if I miss the thing. I was working the other day, you've probably seen me video on that piece with the applique on it. For some reason, I wasn't really, <laughs> didn't get really wrapped in that either. It's okay, we don't mind, it's okay, we can just do what do what I feel like. I just don't, I'm not going to worry about it. If I don't feel like working on it, I won't. I have a lot of other things that I really need to get back to, but I just want to make myself a needle book because I, and then I can take it around and put these, I'm going to put these and my bead needles in it, things that I use all the time. The others can be just like they're in storage, I guess. They're all in storage. Some of them I probably could get rid of. I'm going to give a lot of stuff away. Anyhow, to the charity shops, because I need to I need to make myself a place where I can work instead of a place where I've got to fight to get through it. I've got to fight to get through my stuff all the time. It's not fun at all. I'm going to sneeze again. Oh dear, dear. I'm so sorry. I can't. I can't turn this off because it. Ah oh dear. Because if I do, oh, I'll straighten that along there. Because if I switch it off, I've got to redo it, and then I haven't got time because the, the day's fairly skit, scooting, scooting by on me. I was going to say scooting and getting both at the same time. I don't know why I do that. Sometimes it drives too many words at once. <laughs> too many words at once. Australia's supposed to rain today. I was going to go out on Monday. I thought I'll go out Thursday and do a bit, right? The weather and Jeremy both told me it was going to be raining. I didn't think it was because my knee wasn't blown up too bad, so or my legs and that weren't hurting that much, so I didn't think it was going to rain, and it hasn't yet. It's just come over really dark out there now. Well, I say really dark, it's not cloudy. It's supposed to be going to be a real big rain bomb hit Australia or something. I think that's what they said. Big rain bomb. I hope it's only. I'm going to go around this just to fasten it down. And then I'll put the next thing on, okay? I'll find something else to put on. I'll do the front bit too. Guess I can just join them up here. I'm gonna stop moving around here. Some, there's something to make a bit. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh dear. Come on. Now it's hooking up to everything. Yeah, so I was very disappointed when I was watching that Timu haul that that lady had that good stuff and I couldn't get any because she's in America, but that doesn't matter. It was there. It was just the price wasn't what she said it was. Anyway, I, I went, then I went on AliExpress because I wanted to have a look because for some reason here in Australia, they want, well, for me anyway, they want me to spend $40 before they'll post it out to me. And that's, that's it. They won't even let you spend it cheaper and then get posted. They don't even do that. I wonder if I need to cut that off there. Anyway, so I went on there. And the things that I wanted to buy were a lot dearer than Timu. You know, it's um, a, a lot dearer. I used to always go on there. And you can buy $15 worth of stuff and they will post it to you. But the money, the price of the things was a lot more. It's a lot dearer. Same. So I just was pricing you know I'm not going and spending nowhere, nowhere near as much money as what I used to in the shops around here because we haven't got any you know you can't buy what I'm saying is you can't buy what you want anywhere around because it's just nothing about nothing about to, to, to buy here our shops are very very limited and he got one variety store and it's a big W and it's, well, it leaves a lot to be desired, I tell you. It's got nothing much in it, I don't think. Oh, well, there's a few things that we buy there and, um, you know, so. Now, I want to take, I want to go around that one. 
the ink for my printer I buy there. Jeremy's thongs and his buggy boots or whatever they're called. And sometimes I'll get a bit of sewing or things if there's anything there that I need, but it's very rarely because they're not really stocked well with all that stuff. I'm going to need to put it inside in this now, aren't I? So, but I needed something that looked a bit... I wanted something that was a bit padded to start with. And I'll put it inside in there. And I'll see something. Now I'll go back this way. Into that. So if we got to shop online, it's not our fault. And I found two, um, um, you know, Vinnie's and so and uh, um, Kenneth says they charge too much money for the things which you can buy. It's incredible, you know. You can buy them on Timu cheaper than what you can second-hand things here in Australia, and that's ridiculous, isn't it? You know, you should. We should be able to get our things from here because they're all grizzling about. You know, you want to be shopping here when you, you know, keep the money in us. How can you when you can't? You, I can't do it. I try. <laughs> I'm trying. I can't. I can't. I, I just can't see me. Things I find in the shop that I really want that I know I can't buy on the internet. I will get, but otherwise, I just um. I don't want to doing back stitches on there, but I am. I'm going to go around this way now. And cut that off there a bit better. Yeah, so I'll just have to save up my little dollars and buy things online if you can't get them anywhere else. Give me a piece of lace here. Oh dear, I don't even know what time I started this. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, that's annoying. That's annoying. <laughs> I wish I'd have wrote that down or looked at the clock a bit better or something. Gee, that looks cool. I do love that. That's pretty. These things don't take long to make. I've got, actually, I've got a few here that I've made. And I haven't even sold them yet. They're still sitting in a cupboard over there. <laughs> I don't even know which cupboard, but I know they're over there. <laughs> Somewhere in a <the> cupboard. <laughs> right. Round this one. I know you said she wanted to make herself one of these ones. She said a green one. Ouch. So I hope that this will help her a bit to make it. I hope it will help anybody to help them. They want to make one. No, no hard and fast rules. You can do it out of bits of fabric if you wanted to. You know, little squares of pieces of material or just a, one piece of material. This one here that I've got is, I've got no tape on here now. <coughs> no. This one I'm making seven and a half by three, four, say, about four. So that's good. <coughs> Just a couple of little bits to put in there, don't I? Oh, there's a nice piece on that. I'd have to cut cut these a bit away, wouldn't I? Cut a bit off. There's a nice bit of thing. And yeah, right, right. I'm going to make it. I can make another one of all these bits I've got here, can not I? There's a nice bit. Another nice bit. Little lady playing bowls. I don't think I'll put her on anything. She must have been in the packet. 
I had to buy the packet, you know, you can't just leave. I have those, I still haven't put them on anything, have I? I don't know what I was going to do with them, but anyway. Do I need a bird on? Oh, I don't think so, there's a lot of fiddling about putting a bird on there. There's something I had on something else, I took it off. Uh, do I, what do I do with the butterflies? Are they here under the thing? I remember taking them out of the box, I thought I did anyway. I suppose they're sitting here looking at me and I can't see them, is that right? <laughs> okay. I know, I think I put them in that other I think I put them in that other box there. Because I was doing something with this. I don't think I really need a butterfly anyway. Look, I've got enough things here. Okay. Got enough things. Uh There they go. Okay. Like that. I don't know if I'm not really keen on that one. I don't think I really want to cut this off here either. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's a pretty, pretty nice piece. A nice piece of lace on there. <laughs> I might take that off there, eh? I don't mind if I do. I'm going to put this on here. Sorry about this. If I'm taking too much time. I think I am. I think I did, it was after 10 o'clock when I started to, take, to do this, I think. I've been on here a little while. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. That there. English, Sonia. A bit more English. <laughs> um, that's too much. That's too much. It's not the same. I need more. I need more of these, don't I? I need more. That one's coming unthreaded there. I think I'm going to put this, I'm going to take it off this bit. Actually, I have got a lot of hankies myself somewhere that I've collected up over the years. I should probably get them and use them. Now, yeah, that'll be nice. We'll put this one on here. Look at that. Isn't that jazzy? And you didn't have to do any, well, it's not hard work at all, was it? It's not hard work at all. Where's my needle gone to now? Did you put in the needle pots on you? Yeah, really. Oh, come on. I can't afford to do lose that. I just I just bought it. I don't want to lose it. Did I put in the needle? No. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not it. That's still fastened on here, is it? Goodness me. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll start crying, I don't know. Probably knocked it on the floor, did I? That's not it. Oh, here it is. Nobody panic. It was sitting in there with the cotton in it. I'm looking close enough, that's all. That was my trouble. This is pretty leery. I like it. I think it's going to look really nice. It shouldn't take me too long to finish it and put the... Um, okay. Shouldn't take too long to finish it. I'll put that in there. Like that. And put the insides in. So that doesn't take much doing. It doesn't. This just looks like some butterfly wings or something, doesn't it? I've been trying to ring my brother for a couple of days and he never answers the phone. I wish people. Oh, I like, go back to the olden days where the phone used to ring and it was sitting on the wall and you had to go and answer it because it just kept going. I suppose it rang out eventually, but at least people answered them now. Nowadays they just couldn't be bothered. They just goes through to whatever. Gee, that's annoying, isn't it? I don't know, these mobile phones are not a good idea, I don't think. I suppose they're handy, but... Oh, 
I know he's not avoiding me, but he probably isn't anywhere near the phone, see, because he's of an age where people never carried it really with them that much, you know, unless they went left home. <laughs> he's a bit younger than me, but and he goes and I don't think he carries it around with him, so... And then I don't leave a message and, oh, well... Because you get a bit flustered, you know, and you're trying to ring somebody and they're... My daughter, she, she, she probably doesn't answer the phone enough, and I, my oldest one it just gives me the heebie jeebies. Never mind, she's probably doing something else. She doesn't carry those around with her either, I suppose. Well, actually, when they're home, if they're out there, it's all right, you can get them. <laughs> if they're home, they probably haven't got it near them. going around here with these stitches just fastening all this on here so it'll look pretty we can put our needles in this will be probably the first time if I do well I will finish it but if, if that's if the time doesn't run out it's going to be one of the first time so it's finished anything in one video yeah. <laughs> or 14 is <laughs> the best. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not the only one. I know that. There's a lot of people out there that got a whole heap of things. You know what, with, with me, I think if I can't go on with what I've got, I feel bad about some, starting something new, so I don't, I'm not doing anything. So that's not good, is it? You know, you need to be doing something, well I do anyway, if I don't do a bit of stitching, I said to Jeremy last night, I never sewed anything yesterday, I made a video and I did a couple of, bit of tidying up in here, well mostly it's just sorting out a few things that's around me on the table and that, but I um, feel bad if I don't do a bit of stitching or something, you know, that can't be... That big knot can't be there, that's right, fix that, and you get this one too, right, fix that, because we don't want that big lump, do we, on the back of here, right, now, I've got to put the inside pieces on here, don't I, what am I going to put on the inside? Gee, I've got one piece that could be just right. That's okay. I can do that. Bit of wool. It's a bit of wool blanket, actually, this is. Nice bit of wool blanket. Can I put this? Is, is this going to be dodgy if I put a bit of this on, too? <laughs> Not about if I do three bits. No, don't know about that either. Right. These were the pieces that I was going to use for the needles inside. And it's cotton wadding, and it has bits in it. So I don't know why I was going to think about using this because it's it does it tend to have little bits in it that you can't put your needle through. Oh, right, so I now find something to put in there. So where's that? Uh huh. I can just use felt. Okay, I'll just use felt in that. This, this, I can just use this because this will work just as good and it's goes through really good. I bought, I bought rolls of this stuff, rolls of it. It only cost me two dollars. I've killed me. Why is it fixed? Oh my god, <laughs> it's got that. Oh, Sonia, how could you? Oh dear, if you bend it, it comes down sticky, doesn't it? More pieces of felt. Right, where's the rolling thing? To get the. I know I moved that this morning, didn't I? I know here it is. Come on, what's it stuck to something? 
these two. Oh. Let me just stand it up in a pot now so it doesn't. All right, this will be cool. Shouldn't take long to do this, I hope. I didn't get all that off there. You can use this sort of thing in the inside, but it's not big enough for this one. I don't think that pieces. It must have this pinned on something. Don't know what it was. It's coming off now anyway. It's going to be in here. Now, I've got to do a quick zoom around this with the needle and cotton. Cut it off first. Cut it off first. I know what I'll do. I'll just put I'll just put the inside into it. Show you this how to fasten that in, that's really easy. So this piece is going to be sewn onto there and that's going to be cut <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> it's really that's really bad cutting outs on you, isn't it? Shocking. That's going to be the part that I'm going to sew down to that. Okay, this bit here can be the pages for the the needles. I'll do two. That's enough. That is enough. That's enough pages, isn't it? Yeah. And it doesn't matter if they're not the same size. Probably better if they're not. As the outside. It's probably better if they're not the same size. Let's see if I can cut through all these. Should be able to. Right. Done that. Now this one has to be big enough to fit on there and I'm going to cut a bit off that when I get to after I've stitched it on and then I'm going to put these two pieces in the middle because they're a bit smaller aren't they? Oh gee not by much I thought I must have cut I thought I cut enough off them but I haven't because they're too long this way Still, <laughs> well, that's weird. Still more? Yeah, still take some more off. See, so when you close it, these are going to hang over the side. And it doesn't impress me. But anyway, I should fasten it in first. I should stitch them in first because that way I'll know that it'll be right. Because sometimes when you sew things in, so you want halfway. Try and make it straight because that's not. <laughs> Try and make the stitches straight on you. Sew it in. <laughs> I'm here having a look about because I've put my needle down again, haven't I? Do you think I'll put it in the pot? In the thing here? Do you think? <laughs> Release on you. That's not it. You'd have thought I'd have put this on my brain. Here we go, I got it. If I've ever got that stuck to my brain, then I don't want to be losing it. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that this doesn't go over the time. I really do. I'll be really upset if it does. Then I'll just redo this bit at the end if it does. 
Oh, they, you won't know that, will you, if it's not, if it's gone on to the light next thing. This is not a very long needle, and that's okay. Right? It's not very long, and that's alright. Because it's still not long enough for you to hold on to. I'm going to go through the back part here in the middle. Try to make it as straight as you can, Sonia. Keep it, in, keep it straight. I'm going to stitch it. You know, we're not, not not like a pamphlet stitch. Not like a. We're not doing it like we would have a journal. And I can cut these straight later. <laughs> if I can, if I can cut them straight later, I'll be really happy. There's that. Okay. I can't even see which line, where the line of stitching is going because there's that much stitch in there. So that doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> if it's not visible, it can't be helped. I think that might be that sideways bit going. Never mind. We're slow stitching today. We, we're, in a, we're in one of them in a mood where we don't want to do it. Okay? It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go back down here. <laughs> Sorry about this. I do love sewing, but it's my own book. If I don't want to, don't want to do anything particular with it, I don't have to, do I? Still look nice. I think so. Should have started at the end. I don't know why I started in the middle. I can't even begin to tell you that. I think I need the pink and shears to cut around the edge of this. I knew where they were, but I think I've moved them and I reckon they're underneath all that stuff I've got laying down there. I do, that's what I think they are. Ah, oh, come on. Whoops. Go through there. It's going through that little bit of lace and it doesn't like it. Now just because the inside straight doesn't mean the outside bit's going to be, because that, that's an issue. You don't necessarily get the outside straight, because of the, you can't see what you're doing, so you could push your needle sideways, you know. So I've done a really lot of stitches down here, which I didn't do up the top. I didn't do that up the top. Why didn't I do that up the top? I don't know, I'll come and do it. I'll do it after I show you how to finish this first. That's nice. I like it. I just end this off and I'm going to cut out the middle bits and then I'm going to put some. I'll leave a bit of string on the end of that. It might tie something on there. Might not because then it'll keep getting caught in everything. That's. Uh, <laughs> it's like, don't want to be adventurous, do you? I'm going to get everything stuck in that. I don't want to do that. Cut it off and you'll end it off a minute in a minute. All right. Now look, these are really bad, aren't they? Very badly done. I stitch that on there. I can cut it out to fit. What have I done with my scissors? The big pair that I use. Oh, there they are. <laughs> it's not where they're supposed to be, but anyway, here we cut this long here. in line with the so I can stitch this down I could stitch it down or I could glue it there I suppose I might glue it on because I I'm only going to go around the edge of it I'm not going to glue in the middle because I want to put my me, me, um, needles in I can't push it through glue That's nice. A piece of hair keeps chasing me around the table here. There's this needle, I'm going to put it there. Look. <laughs> I am. So that's the front bit. 
Step back under this on you. It's the inside bit. You can put a pocket, but I don't think I want to put things in pockets because you don't really need to do that in a needle book unless you're going to be travelling and you need a whole heap of stuff in it and you really can't take these sort of things on aeroplanes I don't think I don't know because I know that some people get their things like scissors and stuff taken off you because you're not supposed to fly around with them things <laughs> as far as I know. I've never been haven't been in an aeroplane since I was 18 years old and it scared the living daylights out of me well, I'm not a very, I'm a big, oh well, I'm a big wuss when it comes to that sort of thing. I must say, though, I did go and, um, the octopus at the show a fair bit, <laughs> which is probably, probably more dangerous than the airplane. I don't know. That's a ride, in case people don't know, it's a ride at the show. Come on, stick down, don't be fiddling about now. Okay. Cut a little bit off there. Now these have got to be straightened because they're they're shocking, aren't they? These pages. You're making things easy for yourself. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> mm -hmm. The glue could be making me cough. <coughs> Sorry about this. bit's right. This bit is not. And we just want them a bit level, you know, just a little bit. A bit level. That's better. Okay. And then I can put a bit of something interesting in the inside if I want to, but I think I want to just use them for putting me bead needles in, me Chanel's needles in. Okay, if I do have to make a, a pocket for every, a, a book for every one of these mini needles, then I'll just have to, have to do that. Isn't that pretty? And then I've got a couple of pages, look, look at that, and I can put me good needles in there. I'll have to go through all my needles and figure out, uh, first of all, I want to put I'm going to put a label on them, so I don't know if you're still going to be here when, I, when I'm doing this, but, okay, let's clear that, okay, so we want the format size, okay, large, okay, C, H, E, N, I, L, L, E, print love this thing she knew I should put a needle <laughs> cancel okay oh, clear okay format size okay large okay needle in print bead so clear okay format okay large okay <laughs> beads b e a d n I'm sorry, but I have to tell myself what I've got to write. There's <laughs> nothing in there. Is that empty, Sonia? It looks like it's empty. Oh, look at that. It's got a tiny little bit on the end. It's, doesn't it blink or something and tell me when it's empty? I'll have to um, turn that off. I'll have to. That was lucky. I just got one lot out. Um, I'm going to have to. Go on, get another thing and put in there. Okay, so my chenille needle's going to go here. Oh, here, both sides, I don't know. We're just going to put this on here. I need to fasten that 
closed, I suppose, too. This should easily come apart, I hope. We've we'll turned over to the middle and take that off there. Take that off there. Can't get it. Yes, I can. Maybe you like that now, Sonia. It'll work. She needle needles. I'll have to put the bead one and do it again. Come on. Or if I want to so if I decide I want to put a couple more different sorts in, you know, I'll have to see if I want to do that or not. Okay. Now, why did I do that? Oh yes, because I'm gonna stick these in here, aren't I? is not one, these are, these are them, right, that one's a little bit big, now I have two packets, so I'll be putting, am I pushing them right through to that other part, I think I could be, I just need to put it through this bit, not a whole lot, so I'm going just through there, but see they're good and strong and that's why they're going right through there for me, easy, they're not, Righto, and then I'll put the other packet in there. Why not? As long as I don't um, misplace my book, I should be right. Just take carry it around with me. <laughs> put it in my pocket. So I am pleased, excited about these. Um, I'm going to have to go through the others in the other boxes and see what, but I don't know whether I want to, I've got to get the bead needles and put them in here. I just don't think I want too many to confuse me. I just want a few in it. Maybe this here be, come on, gotcha. Well, these little ones won't be used that much because they're too tiny.